Now, I don't mean it's like Batman, Arkham, or Spider-Man, because while those are superhero games, what they actually are, are open-world action games. A superhero isn't a genre of game, it's a genre of story. Nothing precludes RPGs from being superhero games, otherwise games like Midnight Suns don't count as superhero games, and thinking like that is just silly. So in my opinion, a superhero story is a story about someone who is given extraordinary powers that makes them different from the rest of the world and uses that power to fight for good against villains. To be more specific, a superhero is not someone who uses their power to take down a singular antagonist. That's just a hero. A superhero is someone whose goal is to protect society at large from any and all threats and take on multiple villains instead of defeating one evil character. I know that's a broad definition, but I would personally consider games like Mega Man, Infamous, and Prototype to be in that same genre of superhero game. The Phantom Thieves use their unique abilities to try and change the world for the better. They have hero names, flashy costumes, and powers unique to each member. In fact, they hit many superhero tropes. Each member has a tragic backstory that invigorates them to fight back against an oppressive world, and an arch enemy that they have a personal vendetta with, the boss of the dungeon that they were introduced in. The story eventually becomes about saving the world from an enemy that no one of them could face alone, and although that's more of a JRPG trope than a superhero trope, I consider that to be a neat crossover. And they all have secret identities that they need to protect in order to keep themselves and the people they love safe, from their enemies and those who would want to destroy them. Although the Phantom Thieves are a curious case, because while they seem to give off the vibe of an anti-hero, they're not motivated by their own personal brand of justice. They want to reform society and do what's right for the world, rather than themselves. I think the best comparison would be Batman, and the irony of the leader being named Joker isn't lost on me, though I think that's more a coincidence since the name Joker comes from him being the wild card and the whole card thing mean of the franchise. But Batman isn't considered an anti-hero, so perhaps the Phantom Thieves are just vigilantes in the same way that Batman, Daredevil, and Spider-Man are. Or maybe they're all just allegories for the Bat family. Joker is Batman, Morgana is Damian Wayne, Ryuji is Dick Grayson, Arn is Catwoman, Yusuke is Tim Drake, Makoto is Cassandra Kane, Futaba is literally Barbara Gordon as Oracle, okay, maybe that whole Joker thing isn't a coincidence, Haru is Kate Kane, and Akechi is Jason Todd. But this also raises the question of whether the Persona franchise as a whole is a superhero franchise, and I'm gonna say no because that's a bridge too far. Persona 3 is more of a secret organization game, with C's being an acronym and the characters having matching uniforms and a singular goal rather than fighting multiple antagonists. So I'm going to say that the Persona 3 crew is more like the fantasy FBI, while Persona 4 is really just a bunch of kids trying to solve a problem, protect their town, and get justice for their friends or themselves. It's a much lower stakes and personal story, which is why it's egregiously dumb that the game shoves in a god for the team to kill at the end. I would say that the main thing that separates Persona 5 from the other Persona games as a superhero game would be how the world at large knows that the Phantom Thieves exist, for the majority of the game, where in 3 and 4, the public doesn't even know they're under threat until the end of the game. You're not really a superhero if people don't even know that they're being protected by someone, which is why I liken the Persona 3 crew to more of a secret agency rather than a superhero. So that's why I think Persona 5 is a superhero game, but what makes it the best superhero game? It's simple, it's got a message that speaks to my generation more than any other major game right now. It addresses the fact that the world isn't here to support us anymore, and we have to fight for our place in it. But as young people, we feel powerless against a society that's indifferent to the enormous issues we face on a daily basis. Persona 5 gives us the power fantasy of not changing the world by overthrowing the system, but changing it at its core. We all have people who have authority over us that we don't like, whether it be a boss, teacher, or even a parent. We just want them to see how short-sighted and stupid they can be when they needlessly overexert their power over us. Persona 5 allows us a fantasy of changing someone's cognition to see the morally correct way of thinking. 
be heroes who aren't changing the world by throwing bad guys in prison for them to break out again and cause more harm, be rehabilitating villains and making them into good people. Batman may say he wants to help his enemies become healthy, but he's never made any progress in helping them. He just throws them in Arkham while the thieves are doing what other superheroes only claim to do. I'll be back in two days. In the meantime, here's a video about how I'm not ready to say goodbye to the Phantom Thieves just yet.